Hi, welcome to Conquering Clutter's YouTube channel. I'm Bob, and today we're going to be talking about pantry design and layout. I'm going to show you some of the components that you could put in your pantry, and then once we go through these pictures here, I'm going to go to the old whiteboard and we're going to like draw everything up and show you how things work and you know talk about dead corner space and things like that. So let's get into the heart of this, okay? This is a pretty nice uh, pantry layout right here. This is a pretty open pantry um, that we had to design. And if you look over here, we have corners, okay? Corners are very difficult for pantries because they can create a dead space. And the last thing you want is something tucked back in there and you can't see it and get to it. So these are a great option that we've come up with. And these are corner shelves. All right, the corner shelves, these little legs here can spread this out to whatever width you need. We can usually go about 36 inches either way, all right, and get you the space that you need and the corner shelves are adjustable. But look how that opens up that dead area and lets you view everything you need to in your pantry. So on, on corner shelves, so, um, basically for another corner idea that you can do here, you can do a Lazy Susan in this area too, which they have Lazy Susans that go from here to here, or you can get them in each section like that, or put individual Lazy Susans in. They work wonderful actually, you just spin them and uh, everything's on there. It does waste a little bit of corner space, but remember, just because you have the space doesn't mean it's usable space. So let's kind of get into this other sections here. First, I want to show you what we did for this particular client. We did some cubbies up here, and they liked they what they would do is set up their recipes and put everything together for the week and put them in here. It was a great idea, actually. I thought for the for this idea of these baskets and that. So you pull them down, and all your ingredients are in there. And um, the lady also had her menu in there or her. Um, recipe so she knew what to do and it was pretty nice so if she wasn't home she said her kids could always do it too so the other thing i like to show you is always make sure your pantries have adjustable shelving that's what these holes are for these shelves move up and down remember cubic storage is a key to any pantry really cubic storage is the key to any situation for organization for a storage space you want to use it up completely because it's valuable space Homes getting smaller today and things like that. So you want to take advantage of the space that you do have. So make sure all your shelving is adjustable. Another nice feature of components is drawers. Drawers make it easier for you to get to things, especially down in the bottom. Okay, some drawers are up here. You can put um, tin foil, um, spices, things like that in there. If you notice, though, that this drawer is a fully enclosed drawer box. All right. And it's nice when you have an exposed area that you may walk by and there's no door on this pantry to see what you have, you know, so you don't see all the clutter in here. But you do have to open that drawer up to see what's inside. Another way of doing it is don't make this drawer front the full height, make it only half the height, and then you could always see the contents that are in there. It's a lot easier than always opening and closing drawers, you know. That's that sometimes could be a pain because look at all these drawers here. You better know what's in each and every one of them. Another feature too would be baskets. Baskets are good for certain items and I want you to make aware of it. They're a mid-range price ticket item for your uh, pantry but one of the things that I don't like about them is this open wire. You do have things that could fall in and out of them. They're kind of a pain sometimes. If, it depends what you want to put in them. They're great for potatoes, onions, and large bulk items like that. You know, some of these people go to you know Costco and go buy a bag of oatmeal like this and throw it in the bottom, so it takes up that space like that. But the thing is, if you try to put like, I would say spices or anything like that, they they fall through the wire mesh and come on out and are a pain to deal with. They do make canvas liners for them, but it's like I said, it's something now you got to take care of. It's an additional thing because you got to wash the canvas out. You know, and depends what stains it and things like that. So this is a really nice looking pantry right here, very clean and it's white. Now this particular pantry, you can see we did some more baskets, but these baskets are wicker baskets, which are nice. See how they hold the fruits and vegetables and things like that and, and onions without the bag on them. You know how the onion peel comes off and it would shed through the uh, uh, wire here. So it's not a good idea for that too. But also too, here's what I was talking about, the open drawer concept like that. Very good use of cubic storage. You could get a couple more uh, adjustable shelves in here to take up that extra storage space. You don't want to get this so low that you're always hitting your knuckles on it. This material can be sharp, um, so you'd have to watch that, make sure it spreads out. And then you put some doors on some things like maybe that could be glassware or you know for your uh, dinnerware 
Okay, so that's another nice looking pantry. This one here, these are called scoop drawer fronts. They're really nice because they don't require an additional piece to go on the front of them and screw into them. They've already got kind of a handle on them and it lets you see what's inside of everything here. Okay, great view, pull the drawer out completely, close it, and in this particular uh, pantry we did, has a door on it. Very nice feature actually, this, this uh, couple really enjoy this. Also getting back into some more features, again, see the corner shelf, see how it opens it up. We'll talk about that when I do some drawings for you and things like that. Also too, um, if you use pan dividers like this, make sure that these are 24 inches tall minimum to 30. You don't want to go too big, and then you're wasting space. And every four to six inches width, again, don't want to be hitting the knuckles on them. Stands those pans up nice and straight though, and you can see them. Um, this particular pantry, we did some wine racks. That's a good idea for it. You know, some of the pantries stay cooler. You want to keep your wine bottles in there. This is a good idea for that. And it's just a nice look. Okay, another nice feature to a pantry that you can add. This is a reach-in pantry. And the reason I showed that is because this was just some couple shelves that they had. What we did is we tore it out and we put these two long verticals. These drawers are actually adjustable. But you see the small returns that they have on this. That is not space that's usable on the sides of these. Again, just because it's space doesn't mean it's usable. This is the great usable space. Think about it, pulling that drawer out, being able to see as you pull it out, see everything and look down and see what you have, rather than digging down on the bottom of the floor. Also notice that this top shelf is tapered back. This particular unit is almost the full depth of the pantry to get the cubic storage. Then we taper back so you can get some items up top. Okay, because you do have your door header up there. All right, very. this really works out well for people with small pantries like that. Gives you the flexibility of, of seeing everything that you need to. You can also put a couple spice racks on these doors here, just like that. Now, there's only one thing I want to tell you about these spice racks, though. If you, now this is an awful lot of weight. You may not believe it, but it is. If you took these off and try to lift them up, you know, you're probably talking another 30 pounds worth of weight of those items on here. And if you put more canned goods, it could go up. Make sure if you do something like this, that your door is not a hollow core door. And what I mean by hollow core door is when you tap on it, it sounds echoey. That means it's not a solid door. And if you go to mount something on this, you want it to be solid. Sometimes they put a little header up here and on the bottom when they put these doors together if they're hollow core, but don't forget you got the middle. I don't recommend it on hollow core, only solid. The other things are too is uh, the hinges. Make sure you got heavy duty hinges. That's a lot of weight opening and closing on a door. But just look at that. I mean, honestly, they just used every bit of cubic storage in a pantry that you can get. When this door closes, it, this stuff closes nicely against these shelves. And look at the extra additional space you got because this little door return here is just wasted space. We took advantage of it with this. It was a great idea, actually. Remember I talked earlier about Lazy Susans? Lazy Susans can be a big part of your pantry for the corners. I mean, this is just... I can't even describe the feeling when you walk in a pantry and you could see everything and then you could just spin it around and get to what you need. It, it's just a delight to have this, honestly. These come in larger lengths. You can add more of these trays in, okay? They literally just slide down and then you tighten them with an Allen screw to wherever height you need them. This shelf can be removed and you can continue up with them. Or you can do the individual ones that I talked about, but they require a shelf to mount them on each and every place and not as flexible as adjusting the height on something like this, okay? And so these are some good ideas for a pantry. Um, components, I should say. Now, let's kind of get in just a few little layout ideas here, okay? So what I've been thinking for a pantry is, as I said before, cubic storage is, is, is the answer, all right? So let's just take a pantry that's laid out like this, okay? And then we got our door here. Oops, went a little bit too far. All right, so you want to try to like, if you're, remember we talked about those corner shelves. They're rounded like that and beautiful space like that. If you need drawers, put drawers here. 
don't put them here because they could open up and have this door in the way. Then you'd always have to close the door to get to them. And once they're there, they're tough to move because drawers are made for the space that they're in. So try to put your drawers here. Plus, it's nice to be able to be behind it and pull a drawer open. Think about that. If you're dealing with large appliances that you have um, for your kitchen, you also want to make sure that it's easy to get them out. You don't want to be struggling trying to lift them off a door here. If you needed to, go with a deeper 22-inch shelf here. That's great for paper towels, um, water, and those appliances that you do have. Easy to get them in and out. Shelves are adjustable, so you can get as many of them as you need in. Get them tighter. Um, you may even put some dividers in there. Um, like put the appliance in the center and a couple tray dividers on the sides of it. It works out really well like that. And this is a nice closet here, okay? I want to explain a pantry that is like a reach-in pantry to you. And the key to it is you got a door that opens up like this outward. Now remember what I talked about usable space. So if you do put the shelving in here, a shelving unit, and you want to put some drawers at the very bottom, they have to clear the doorway here. And so you're going to end up with a little void here. But again, you have to think, is that usable space or is this better usable space for me? Most of the time, it's better usable space to do it this way. Okay, so different scenarios for pantry. You can have a pantry and a kitchen, which basically is mounted inside a cabinet. And my marker's running out of ink. Let me do the green. Okay, and then so as you can see, you know, you got a pantry. You can do the pull out shelves too. If you have a hinge door here, we have to clear the hinges. So usually you put it one inch spacer, and then you can put your drawers in. They can pull out. We showed them earlier with those scoop fronts. Uh, different ways to do pantries and lay it out. If you have any questions or anything that you're, you need to know about, we're always here to answer those questions. Again, Conquering Clutter preaches this. Organization is, in a, is not a luxury. It's not. It's a necessity. Think about that meal that you're going to cook. The last thing you want to do is find that spice that you knew you bought. Where'd you put it? Okay, you want to be able to get to it. You want to know exactly where it's at because that meal is going to taste that much better. I can't wait to come on over and eat it with you. Please, I'm open to that too. All right, um, please subscribe to us, like us, ask us questions, visit our website, visit our Facebook page. We've got it all, folks. I just love doing this. Have a great day.